In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and arrange a wedding trifold program like this in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. So a couple of days ago, I designed this invitation card and then I made the program outline for it. And I'm going to show you how to do that in Photoshop as well. Down in the description will be a link to all the resources that I'll be using. You might want to download it and follow it if you want to create something like this. Now let's get into Photoshop and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new document. And so we are going to use A4 for this particular project. So you go to Ctrl plus N and then you are going to select A4. Now we want this in the landscape mode. So if you are using Photoshop 2020 or 2021 or even 2022, you can go ahead and change the orientation from this side. So you change it to landscape and then you can go ahead and click OK. Now this is the A4 paper size that we are going to use. But before we start or before you even attempt to do something like this, I would fully recommend that you take a paper size that looks like what you'll be designing here. And then you try to fold it into three, like trifold, so that you get a concept of how you want to arrange your test. Because for some papers, you might want the middle to come as the front, the left can come as the front or the right. So it depends on you and how you want or where you want it to be the front so for this tutorial for instance the right side here is going to serve as the front page or the cover page so we are going to fold it so that this right side is going to show up as the front page so in order to make sure that we are still in a trifold position we are going to set some guidelines to help us so let's go to view and then new guide over here now we are dividing this particular the whole of this paper size is 100 percent so we are dividing it into three core parts so that is going to be like 33.3 percent and that is going to be one part and then we go again to view new guide and then we are going to type in 66.6 percent remember to bring the percentage because it is going to it is the one that is going to divide it for you so once we have this we are going to set some more guidelines to just make sure that we have enough space in the in the middle so we go to view again and then new guide and then here from this point to this point is 33.3 so we are going to set this part to 32 percent so that it will be right here and this middle is going to serve as the space so we are going to do the same thing for the 66 part so new guide and then instead of 66 we are going to type in 65 percent and that is it now our demarcations are ready so let's quickly get started and then put our designs on all right so first things first we are going to start from the extreme right here and then design it towards the left because this is going to serve as the cover page so we are going to bring in some backdrops or some flowers that i got so you go to file and then please embed it and then i've included this in the description if you want to download it so we are going to double click on this particular one that i got from pinterest now once it's here you're going to take your time to position this to the very part that you want but then you realize from here that these ones are coming in too much so what we're going to do is we're going to right click on this and then we're going to rasterize this layer go and pick the rectangular marquee tool and then we are going to cut a portion of it off like this so we are going to right click and then go to layer via cut so we are basically what we're doing here is we are separating these two so now we have this as a separate layer and then we are going to have this also as a separate layer like that so we can push this to the top here and then this to the bottom so that we have enough space to write inside of our test now the first test that we are going to put in here i've written the test down so that we can finish this early so the first test we're going to write in here is our wedding so the first one that we're going to use is a wedding script and then we are going to paste our test right over here 
so you take your time to position it now one thing that you have to understand is this particular work takes a lot of time so if i'm to go through each of it step by step like one after the other we are going to basically sleep here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give you the concept and then i'm going to speed it up so that this video doesn't scare you when you see the number of minutes so that you don't click on it so you take your time to basically position your test over here and the color that we're going to use across this design is the forest green and this is going to be the hex code so you click ok here and then ok here and then you'd realize that i took my time to bring this one down a little bit right over there once we're done with this we go back into our resource so place embedded so we have this flora flower frame that we got and then i used it in the wedding invitation as well if you've not seen that so we are going to bring that in as well and then take our time to position it here in the middle like so now you realize that when i bring it here it's going to be underneath of this layer that we cut so we can even send it on top of all the layers so that it shows up so somewhere around here should be fine and then we can right click on this rasterize it and then we can add a bit of levels by pressing ctrl l so that these greens here are going to show up when you're done you're going to click ok so we are going to make duplicate of this particular test ctrl j to do that and then we bring it in here and then we are going to type in the names of the bride and then the groom we can select the two and press ctrl t to transform it way slightly like that so eric here can go up a little bit like so and then we can push mary also down a little bit inside of this or in between them you are going to type in an end so you can choose your test tool and type in the sign end over here and then we are going to change that font to poppins because edwardian script wouldn't allow us to use that particular font so we can bring it in here press ctrl t and then we can transform it nicely like that so if this feels so small you can select the end up to the whole of these ones for instance and then you can press ctrl t and try to transform it out that is if it feels small for you so we can double click on it and the next test that we're going to add will be the date and then the venue so we have our dates here and our venue and then we are going to copy that right away and then we come into photoshop and then we are going to paste it so we are still using poppings over here and then we can select the whole of these ones and change this from semi bold to medium so basically you take your time to just position it very nicely like that and then we can also increase this one to something like bold something like that should be fine so i'm going to increase the size of the date a little bit like that and then push it slightly over here now once we're done with this the last thing that we're going to add will be program so we are going to make one more duplicate of mary here bring it down and then we send it to the top and then we are going to type in here program now once you're done you're going to press ctrl t transform it neatly like this and then you make sure that you've positioned it very nicely like that and just like that you come up with a cover very neatly and well presented now from here you can select the whole of these ones press ctrl g to group that and you can call it the cover now according to how i arrange my design we are going to have the thank you page and which is going to be the last page in the middle here so on top of that we are going to write thank you so i'll quickly come to our wedding here make a duplicate and then send it to the very top of all my design remember that this has been grouped as the cover so it doesn't have to be in the cover if you don't want to be confused you can even take this whole thing off okay so you can just hide it so that you focus on the next thing that you are doing so you can send this over here and then we are going to quickly change that to thank you now once this is done we can then go ahead and bring in our test so we have this beautiful drafted test over here i'm going to copy that and then i'm going to choose my test tool so for this particular test we're going to use the test box so you create a very nice simple test box like that and then we are not going to use edwardian script so we are going to change this one to railway and then let's try to use the medium here and we're going to change the font to 14. so once we have this we are going to paste the test that we copied very neatly like that and then we will take our time to readjust it so you press ctrl t to transform it 
very neatly like this i hope you are getting the concept so you can then take your time to make all the necessary changes that you're supposed to make something like this should be fine and then there are more of the test over here so we are going to select the test tool again and this time i'm going to switch fonts from railway to poppins so poppins like that someone recently commented that i'm a fan of poppins so we select the medium here and then we are going to paste those tests as well so we can take our time to position them over here select all of that go to the toggle character and try to open them up a little like this this should look fine and then if you want the headings to stand out you can basically take your time to set them to bold and then set this one as well to bold like that now this is coming up really well but when you turn the cover you realize that this place looks well lit as compared to this so what we are going to do is we are going to steal the background from the cover over here so this first one and this we are going to make duplicates of them so ctrl j to make duplicates and then we send it to the very top you can do this by holding ctrl shift and then the curly bracket and then it comes on top right on top of all the other layers and then we can position it right over here now this time around since it came to the top it is of course on top of the cover but then we are going to take our time to bring it underneath of this so we want it underneath of the thank you so we will use ctrl plus the curly bracket and then it will send them down nicely like that but we don't want it to take all of these plays so we can select them one after the other after this and then we can push it up slightly like this i realized that we made a cut so a part of it is showing so you can go for your rectangular marquee tool and then you can just get rid of this part so we are going to delete that and then we will select this portion as well bring it down slightly like that and then we can go for the rectangular marquee tool and then we are going to close or delete this part as well now once we are done with this the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to try to style it up a little bit with some breakages okay so we are going to introduce some breakages into this and then we are going to use the font vintage the creatives so we select our font over here and then we change this one to vintage the creatives basically any alphabet that you type is going to give you a particular breakage like this okay so for instance g gives me this and then i'm going to use that to break between the thank you and then the other part of the photography and all of those people so i'm going to bring that over here now i'm going to make one more duplicate and drag it on top here but i don't want to use the same g so i'm quickly going to change that you double click on it and let's try with l so l is going to give us this particular one and then we make one duplicate and drag it to the top so ctrl j drag it to the top press ctrl t right click and then flip it vertically so something like this so that it flips down like that and then you can leave it over here so at this point we have our thank you part also done so we can select from the photograph over here to the last part and then we are going to group that ctrl g and then we can call it the thank you so now if you turn your cover on and then you have your thank you section on you can see what we are coming up with next on we move to the next part and for this part i reserved it for the other photography so just like we did for the same thing we are going to hide this we are going to make a duplicate of the thank you so ctrl j ctrl plus shift plus curly brackets to send it to the very top and then we can bring it over here so at this point we can now hide our thank you as well so that we don't get confused so we are going to select or change this one to other So you press ctrl t and then you can take your time to reduce the size over here and reposition it all over again now at this point i decided to add a bit of spice to it by introducing the camera section so ctrl plus o to open our files and all of it is in the description so we have this camera icon and then we are going to open that you're going to unlock it and then you're going to use this particular object or magic wand selection to make a selection from here this all the parts that looks like png and then you are going to delete that now you can hold shift to select multiple 
after you're done you're going to use your move tool and then you're going to select it or send it to the document that we are working on press ctrl t to transform it very neatly like this and then you are going to position it over here you can be smaller a bit and that is fine you can right click on this go to the blending option and then you give it a color any color of course that you want so color overlay and then we are going to maintain the forest green that we are using you click ok and then ok from here as well remember when you are done we are going to give it a background so let's go into our test so we are going to select all of these ones as the other photography go back into photoshop and then we are going to select our test tool now for the fonts we are switching back to poppings and then we can paste all of them over here now you realize that the, the size is a little bit bigger so you can press ctrl t resize it very nicely and neatly as how you really want it something like this should be fine let me make this about 13.5 and this should look good now once we're done with this Oh, I think 13.5 is also too much. So let's make it 13 over here. Now, once we're done with this, we are cool with it. And then we can just bullet it very neatly. To bullet it, we are just going to use the ellipse tool. So we can zoom in here very nicely like that. Go and select the ellipse tool. And then we are going to create a very simple, basic ellipse like this. Now, we want to change the color to the first green that we are using. And then we will take our time to position it so what we're going to do next is we're going to make duplicate of it to match the rest of the test so ctrl j to duplicate that and then we position it here you can hold ctrl and then you select the next two press ctrl j and then you are going to drag it like that now you can select the rest of the four ctrl j and then you are going to position it over here now you realize that for this part we don't need an ellipse there so you are going to take that off you're going to delete that and then for this part as well we don't need an ellipse there so we are going to take that part off and for the rest of these ones we are going to select them and then take them off now we don't want this to take a whole lot of layers so excluding the first one that we made we are going to select the rest and press ctrl e so that all of them becomes one just to save you with space and a lot of layers to deal with and once we're done with this that means we can go ahead and give this a background so let's go and borrow the background from this particular place so these two we select them so we select the two make duplicate and then we can drag it to the left side nicely like that and now we are set with the order of photography as well but we don't want these duplicates to stay in there thank you so we are going to send them to the very top over here something beautiful like that and then we can select all of these ones ctrl g and then we can call it order of photography now at this point if you turn on the cover you have your cover you have your back page and then you have your other of photography and putting all of these together we can call it the front so that is going to be the front page and now we can work on the back page now the back page follows the same procedure as we've done over here so what we're going to basically do is we're going to make a duplicate over here of the other photography and then we are going to send it on top and now we can turn this one off we are not going to so we can even give it a color red so that it indicates that this is the front or the first page and now we are going to work on the back page so for this part we are going to get rid of this particular icon over here delete it and then we can change it to functionaries we can make one more duplicate over here and drag it down and then we can call it the officiating so we are going to select all of these and change the font to poppings and then we select the medium over here press ctrl t and then this particular ones didn't select so let's change that quickly to poppings medium and then press ctrl t to transform all of them out like that ctrl t and then we are going to select this one and then we position them over here like that and just like we did for these ones we are going to get rid of the ellipse over here and then we are going to paste the officiating ministers over here now you can select all of these and then decide to change it to the 
center aligned so that it arranges very neatly like that so you take your time to position it and then for clarity's sake you can choose to make all of the headings quite bold as compared to the other ones so we can go ahead and do the same thing for the rest of the test now let's bring this down a little bit and then reposition the functionaries over here now we can even try to space this out a little bit like that so that it takes out the space i don't want yes yeah, so something like this should be fine now we can then go ahead and rename this to officiating and the same thing we are going to make a duplicate and drag it to the middle over here so you realize that once you're able to figure out how you want to arrange your test how you want to arrange your information it's not that much of a big deal so we are going to change this one too and then we are going to delete the officiating ministers over here delete that and then we can position this up here slightly like this and open it up a bit as well so for the order of service we are going to select or copy and paste them so we have the order of service over here and then we are going to copy that and paste it in photoshop so we can select all of these ones and paste it right over here now you realize that this once looks very bold so let's select all of it and go back to medium now once we're done with this we are going to press ctrl t try to transform it very nicely and neatly like that and then we can reposition it over here so for the parts that you want them to be bold you can just basically take your time and bold in it and then we can select all of them again and try to close it up a little bit say 15 should be fine okay so once we have this we can then take our time to oh i think this is too closed so 16 should be fine and then once we have this we can just take our time to position this one for instance in the middle so with the help of the tab key we can bring this in the middle so somewhere around here should be fine so something like that and then we can change the font size as well so increase this a little bit so that it stands out so we can rename this to other of service so we are going to make one more duplicate and send it to the very right side over here and then we are going to change this one to hymns so i believe by now you understand the concept of how everything turns out over here and then we are going to delete all of these and then we are going to try to type in the hymn so if you are able to do everything as it's supposed to be you are supposed to have something like this and once you have all of this you realize that when you group all of this you can call it the back so we have and then we can even give it a color to separate it so we have our front and then we have our back and just like that you create a minimal program outline design for and you can use this in many other design projects like events and then birthday parties and all that you just have to know how to structure and position your test and that'll be pretty much it i'll be getting value out of this video and if you did subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i'll catch you in the next video it's innocent here and bye